Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Fun Lifestyle and Fishing. We're out of lockdown, we're able to have guests on the boat, and I've got two special guests with me today. I've got a good friend of the show, Jason Johannesson from the Western Bulldogs, and I've got his friend, James Mulligan. How are you guys going? Well, thanks, mate. So, the boys have said they wanted to go fishing just before pre-season started, so we've taken them out, and you guys want to catch some flathead and some gummy. Yeah, that's the plan today. Um, you boys have taken us to a hot spot, um, so hopefully they live up to the hype and we can catch some fish. Now, James, yes. how do you know Jason? Uh, we used to play, uh, well, I used to play the Western Bulldogs with him uh, about uh, 10, 11 years ago, yeah. Yeah? And what do you do yourself nowadays? Um, owned a gym for a few years and sold that now, and um, yeah, just looking for that next opportunity. Yeah, and you're a keen fisherman? Love fishing. You love fishing, yeah. so that's why Jason has brought you out of <laughs> us today. And uh, what are you looking forward to? Um, hopefully getting a gummy today. That's that's the that's the, the main goal. That's the main goal. But flathead for dinner. Flathead for dinner. Yeah. And then yourself, Jason. What are you looking forward to? Yeah, keen on chasing the gummy. Um, that's the one fish I haven't caught with you guys. So um, yeah, fingers crossed we can get some good action. But um, it's a beautiful morning out here. So hopefully, fingers crossed we get some. Now you were telling me on the way down that you you were training yesterday. You ran eight k's in the rain. How's your body feeling? Yeah, pretty sore, uh, <laughs> but I definitely know uh, my upper body's going to get an absolute workout today. <laughs> <laughs> guys, stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be a ripper episode for you guys. So, JJ, you're hooked up here. Yeah, hopefully it's a decent size one. It feels what, like it. What do you think it is? Hopefully a nice flatty, but... There's a bit of weight there. There's actually a little bit of weight there. You might have two, mate. I reckon you might have two. Double hook up. Double hook up. Let's hope it's not one of those dreaded units that we caught before. Now we're fishing in 40 metres deep off uh, Port Welshpool. You can see the islands behind us and we're drifting here. I think I've lost it. Oh, you lost it? Oh no, you've got it. You've got it. I can see. It's a big one. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. Well, I must have just given up. Mate, that's not a bad flatter. That's about, what, 45 centimetres maybe? 40? Yeah, we'll take that to start the day. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. We'll uh, put this one in the esky and get back to it. Let's go on. So, Jason, you just dropped the rod and you're back in again. Yeah, you boys have obviously taken us to a hot spot. Yeah, look, this looks like a good fish, mate. Oh, two fish. Yeah, it's a bit of weight on it, so hopefully. So I've done the old, old, uh, old, uh, drop the rod, drop the, uh, right, here it is. the rod behind it. Oh no. No, you've got, you've got one, two gurnets. One black. Oh, two. Yeah. Alright, I'll dispose of those gurnets for you. I've just hooked up here. <laughs> so swap. I'll let you I'll swap rods. There's, there's a fish definitely on that one. Dino's trick of slowing the drift has definitely worked. are sore already. We've already been out in 20 minutes. <laughs> right, hopefully we can get you onto a gummy and uh, it'll, it'll really stretch your arm. Now what does it feel like Jason? Oh, it feels like a decent sized flathead but we just don't know yet. There's a variety of fish here. Oh it's another gurnet. Okay. Another gurnet. Now there's, there's lots of these in the area. You just gotta be careful. They got spikes in them, so I told the boys if they're if they're cooked up, I'll bring them in and I'll get rid of them. So we'll just uh, put that there. Slowly just smoke it overboard. Keeps everyone happy. I may drop that rod and Cheers. hopefully back into it. As you might see that we're all fishing on the same side of the boat. It's because of the wind. It's blowing us this way. Now we've, we've put the sea anchor out to try and slow that drift. So we keep these baits in the strike zone for a lot longer. And I'm just getting a bite now. The, so when you're bottom bashing, you want to be 
slowly drifting. You don't want to be drifting too fast where you're covering too much ground. You just want to be catching, covering enough ground that you tempt these fish. And like I said, you guys are getting a bite too. Double here. James, what do you reckon you've got? Probably a gurney. Yeah, I think I've got the same. Although hopefully we're in the nice. same area, so I don't know. Pretty small though. I've got a bit of weight. I've got a bit of weight. Might have caught you, mate. Yeah, we are. Are we going up? No, no, just trying to get the work. Oh, you're on, JJ. I think you're over. And under. And under, that's right, yeah. Go. Three-way. What have we got? What have we all got? What do you reckon you've got, JJ? Nah, I think I've lost You lost it? I've been saying that the whole time. Oh, oh. You must have had me. You must have had me. There you go. That's exactly what we're chasing here. Beautiful flathead. That's going to make great eating. 